what 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 benefit does a longer tendon really well, tendon have. has greater uh, elastic properties than than a muscle and those elastic properties are free of any uh, metabolic fatigue so it's very energy efficient to have force that is produced by elastic uh, energy storage and return uh, so if we can have a long tendon then uh, it can potentially stretch more and we get a greater storage and release of elastic metabolic metabolically less costly energy uh, so i think this is particularly true with the achilles you're going to find a lot of your best people uh, in activities where the storage and release is, is really at a premium like sprinting there's a big advantage uh, for producing explosive force if the achilles is long and the gastroc is short it's not necessarily the case if those time to produce force is, is relatively long. So you don't see that type of body type excel in things like uh, the sport of weightlifting. You know, you see people of all different dimensions compete pretty well in the sport of weightlifting. There's certainly some some uh, preferences here and there, but we're, we've seen some guys from Latin America in particular, uh, some of your African countries who have your kind of standard sprinter body type do pretty well on the platform in Olympic weightlifting, but that's not the case in, in sprinting. Uh, and that's largely because the, the contact times and ability to produce force is at such a premium in sprinting that uh, we can't rely on muscular force. It needs to really, a lot of it come from uh, very fast elastic energy return.